can't believe I burnt myself. Ouch. Use with caution, man. Dang, I have not done that. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Hello beautiful people. Today we are making this super easy DIY bookshelf. Stick around if you want to see the process. So this is what we're going to need. Of course a box. Um, I'm using this like really thick and sturdy. I've used a diaper box as well. Um, so good box. We're also going to need some extra pieces of cardboard. So I just grabbed these off of a, another box. These will be the dividers between the different shelves. And then you're gonna need a ruler, a pen, a razor blade. Uh, you could use scissors, but the razor blade is a lot easier just because scissors can be a little bulky to get in there. So I prefer a razor blade um, if you have it. But like I said, scissors are totally fine. Masking tape, then a glue gun, hot glue gun, some extra glue sticks some paint and a brush. Use whatever you have. Don't feel like you need to go out of your way and get special things for this project. It's literally meant to just be with, use what you have on hand. <laughs> you could even use like wallpaper or the cabinet liners that have like the adhesive side. Um, to wrap up the shelf and make it look like clean. I used the masking tape with the paint and that worked perfect. Um, as you can see here, it looks just very um, clean and it works. Okay, we're gonna start off by cutting off the flaps and we're gonna keep these because these will come in handy as well for the dividers. So this is going to be the front. I'm putting the lines, um, the marks here because this is going to be the front of our book case or bookshelf. And we're going to cut along here. So I do this for me. If you're like really good at getting a straight cut, you probably don't have to do this. You can probably skip this step, but this just makes it easier. For me to follow a line to make a nice straight cut and then what we're gonna do to get like the slope um, like this on our bookshelf we are going to create a line from that little mark that we just made so the front of our bookshelf to this is gonna be the back do a straight line from that little mark that we made in front to the very corner of the back of our box and this is where we're gonna cut to create that slope of our shelf. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Right from that little mark that we made to the very corner of this box. One right down. It's just like that. So now we have a line created this way across. And we're gonna cut along all those lines. Now 
now that we have all the sides cut off, we're going to, this would be the time to measure out your box because it could be different from mine. So you're gonna wanna determine how many shelves that you want uh, or dividers in between. So mine is exactly 12 inches. Do them three inches apart. So um, I know I'll just need three dividers and then I'm gonna need three inch pieces that are gonna be like the bottom um, in between each divider. So I have some cut here that will be my shell dividers. So I'll cut these to be a little bit shorter to go along with the slope here. But um, I want them to be three inches apart. So what I'm gonna do next is I have some extra pieces over here. I'm gonna measure these three inches so that way those will sit um, in between. I need three of those, one, two, three, to go in between these three dividers. And those are gonna sit here at the bottom so that the books can sit on top of. So we'll do that now. Um, measure these out to three inches. Let's see, this one is, oh perfect. This one is six inches long, so. so I'll cut that one in half. I said I need three, so I'll get one more out of this one. So we'll make sure measure this one to be three inches. Oh, I will give you a cut. And like, it's a little trick, you don't have to go super deep into the cardboard, but if you just kind of do a nice, simple cut on the first level layer, and then you can just bend it, and then this makes it easier to just follow along the back and cut the other side. So there's our first three inch piece. I'm gonna cut this one. Right, there we go, we got our little dividers for in between. So at this point you want to turn your hot glue gun on to get that going. And then we're going to determine how far down you want that first shelf to be. So um, you can measure here or just, I, um, I think going down about four inches is good. So, I will just mark this in a couple places along at this four inch mark. And I know that that is where this first layer is going to get glued. Okay. All right, so I found that the easiest way to get these Dividers in between are going to be starting with the glue and use a generous amount, don't be scared. Um, I used a good amount and it's pretty sturdy because my son started standing on it and it hasn't broken, so. All right, so now we're just gonna put this in place. And then just hold it there for just a little while, give it some time to attach. And you can use as little or as much glue as you want. I wanted to make sure mine was super sturdy because like I said, my son started stepping on it. So. And that's the best thing about hot glue is like you can just go in with it and it'll set and be in place. All right, so we put that on there and then I'm gonna grab my first divider here and I will apply some glue to this edge and then I'll put this one in place. Um, you 
can put it along the sides here too. I think I'll, I will do that as well. But we'll just get some. I don't know it's gonna be right here, so I'll just start applying it to the edge of the little platform, and then I will stand that up straight and just hold it in place and let it do its thing. continue this process for the next tiers and I will um, make the shelf kind of go a little bit lower each time so this one is about right here right now so I'll just go probably about a half inch shorter than that and I'll just do that for the next one as well give them a little bit of time uh, to dry and set in between putting the next tier on because um, when you're like pushing it you can kind of get the previous one out of the right place that you want it in so keep that in mind. man. Dang, I have not done that. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. All right. Well, the gluing is done. All right, so we're going to mask off the little shelves here so it kind of matches the whole outside and that is a real nice clean look and like i said before this is optional you can skip this step if you like but it does make it look nice You want something that's gonna look cute and aesthetically pleasing in your house, then do it. Do this step. And then again, I'm kind of like I did earlier, just cutting these sides here because I kind of add a little extra tape there, so I don't want it to bubble up. If you wanted to as well, you could even add tape in the seams in here and just make everything like super thin. And I'm gonna add a little bit of tape here to the front just to kinda reinforce the sides here. It's a little wobbly on this corner. But yeah, we are all ready to paint. Or like I said, if you have like wallpaper or those cabinet liners with the adhesive side, that would be like super easy to just slap on here. You don't have to worry about, worry about painting. Um, so we'll just go ahead and paint and show you the final result. Okay, so I'm using 
just one of these acrylic craft paints. Um, I picked up a white and a gray, and then I'll just mix them a little bit just to get kind of like a grayish white color. So it's not just straight up white. Um, and then I have one of these foam brushes. I think I just found all this stuff at the dollar store. I've had these paints. Um, and then you can use whatever brush or whatever you have on hand. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna show the whole process on painting. Um, I'm sure you get the idea, do whatever you want, do what's easy for you, um, make it work for yourself. All right. Here is the final result. I am very happy with how it turned out. This is super easy to make. I hope you will try it out as well. If you have any questions, leave a comment and do not hesitate to reach out. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to save it for later and share it with another mama friend of yours. If you would like to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Sending peace and love. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.